Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Game. And by game, I mean Germany. And by Germany, I mean another German thing. Again. Considering this is quite literally the third time in a row that we've played the Germans, I, I think there's a bit of a trend here. But, as I said before, I go based off what's in the comments, and that is the top voted one that you all wanted me to do. So I guess, let's go ahead and gamble. Now you're probably wondering what I'm talking about with gambling, but that's because when you're trying to form the HRE, everything is a gamble. You have percentage chances of events actually working in your favor, and if they don't work, if they don't follow the exact path, then you gotta do the entire thing again. Yay, RNG Jesus. But there are certain things that you can do to drastically increase the likelihood of this succeeding. So I guess let's go. First step, naturally, oppose Hitler. We gotta go and get a more interesting leader. And now we simply play a waiting game. All right, Civil War time. Hello. But of course, we can't do anything until this finishes, so we might as well go and start fixing our economy. But since we at least got that political power, let's go ahead and ramp this up. War economy. All right, and then as soon as they move these troops down, they should move this tank over here. They move it each time, trying to prep for an attack. But now that they've done that, that means we can go ahead and get a little attack going here. And there we go. That's a whole block of them trapped immediately. There we go, bait them in, now go for another attack. And there we go, that's another unit trapped. Japanese young officer coup, wait a minute, what, what? Did I not turn on historical? Oh shit, that might make things a bit spicier here. Renewal of the Rome protocols, wait a goddamn minute, are they? I did hit it, oh god. Oh, I'm not doing historical, this could be, uh, this could be a bit of a pain in the ass. But it's okay, I think we need to get some civvies. And there we go, finally. That, uh, it took a little bit longer than it should have. But now we gotta repair. Nazi leadership captured. Uh, honestly, honestly, I want the political power rather than the stability here in this case. I'll take a little bit more fascism. It's fine. And let's go ahead and get all this stuff repaired. And now that we got some civvies done, it is time to try and make a beeline and see if we can go ahead and get this event started. First, secure the state. Now the thing about trying to form the HRE is that everything is essentially RNG, you need to have the Hindenburg accident not happen, it needs to be the Hindenburg incident, so in order for it to happen, you need to sharpen air regulations. The problem is, the earlier you do this, the worse that it is for you because it increases the cost of all of your air force. I want to go ahead and get this out of the way though. Dominions break with the crowns. Wait a minute, what, what the hell is the UK doing? Oh shit, I think... I think the UK is going for monarchist path. Ooh, that might actually work out in my favor here. Okay, state secured. That means time to revive the Kaiserreich. Estonia declared war on the Estonian People's Republic. I think that we're seeing a little bit of a chaotic world here. Peasant uprising in Krakow. Oh shit. I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more, uh, a lot more problems here. Right now, we can't actually do anything until we have 40% support for the DNP, which we're currently at 30, so that's going to take a while. So, let's rebuild the nation and get our bigger, better economy going. Now, Pakistan has declared war on India. <laughs> God damn it, this world is going to burn. <laughs> this is, uh, kind of topical, I think. Thundercross Latvia. Oh. Oh, the King's Party. King's Party is happening in England. They are going monarchist. Ooh, that might actually help me here. Oh, okay. Hindenburg Incident, that is the first step in it that is going to save us. Alright, so we got it. Looks like those air safety regulations paid off then. Oh, we still can't do Return to the Kaiser, so we might as well get some more stuff done for our civilian factories. And now Bangladesh has declared war on Pakistan. Wait, wait a damn minute. Huh, looks like India is going through a little bit of something. But the Polish People's Republic, I, I don't, I don't like that at all. The Little Entente Reformed. Well, shoot, that is going to make things even more difficult for me then, I guess. Mm, check the Slovakia. You are, you are set to be a little bit of a pain. Oh, and now Mexico has another civil war. Again. Let's go ahead and get the return of the Kaiser. And at this point, I think it's time that we start to focus on the, uh, the military aspects here. But of course, before the Netherlands can try to return our Kaiser, we should probably just go ahead and disband our army so that we're significantly weaker than them. All right, Netherlands, return the Kaiser to me, and by that I mean don't. Hey, there we go. Netherlands prevents the return of the Kaiser. Yes. Second step in this, HRE, you do not want to declare war on them. You want to go ahead and just let Willem III become the leader. All right, now that we got Willem III, the immediate next step is that we have to start to expatriate the communists. And the next step is to take that super cheap cavalry unit, spam out as many of those as we can, which in this case is 21 divisions, and then we'll be able to go ahead and switch those over once they're out. Because we got to start militarizing fast at this point. 
Next step, of course, we also have to reinstate Prince Willem's right of succession, and then modernize the succession law, because he's only got daughters. And we will convert all of these over to our infantry division now that we have it out, which is going to immediately add an additional 100,000 manpower into the field. There we go. Wait, Pact of Rome? Pact of Rome? I don't like what you're doing there, Italy. Austria joins the Pact of Rome. Wait, it- what? No! My friend, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Convert more of these over instantly, there we go. It looks like we're gonna need to start preparing troops down here then, unfortunately. And now we have to accept British naval dominance. Because as soon as this happens, we're gonna be able to get an alliance with the Shade, which is the exact goal we want. And it's very ironic now that the British are going with Monarchists, because that's it's actually gonna be very helpful for us. But we are gonna be able to start cranking out those guns very rapidly. And let's go ahead and get some mountain brigades, because I have a feeling we're gonna be fighting through Austria here, and it's not gonna be fun. So, let's get an alliance with the Shade. Because if Britain is going Monarchist, then hey buddy, let's go. I don't like the fact that we're kind of surrounded by communists on the side. Well, thank you, Britain. Thank you for letting me join the Alliance. Here we go. The, uh, the funny thing is, uh, we, there, there's, there's no, we, 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 we're not in a faction, actually. Because Britain didn't create a faction because they went monarchist. God damn it. <laughs> I would have loved to have been able to do that, but we can't join anything because there is no Alliance. Oh, damn it, game. I guess the question, of course, then becomes, what the hell do we actually do? Because I'm not going to get any war goals or anything, so I can't exactly do anything. <laughs> so you know what? I guess we just got to see to the Eastern Front. So that means I can't actually go and create a faction. So we're not going to be able to join them. What the fuck? And now the Republicans actually won down here. Well, this is, this is going to put a little bit of a delay on things, I think. I'm amazed that there's actually as little tension here as there is. And now the United States is going interventionist. This is, um, this is not very helpful for me. Isolate the Mediterranean threat. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Isolate the Italian should we be open to indicate their willingness to consider a potential future alliance with us? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I would love to isolate the Italians here. But I still can't create a faction because we don't have height of tension. All right, can I have Danzig, please? Can I at least have something like that so that I can actually do something? Because it's 1938, almost 1939. I haven't been able to do anything. Wait, Portugal? Portugal, why are you declaring war on Spain? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I swear to God, if Portugal annexes all of Spain... Oh my God, are they actually doing it? Portugal's actually taken this. And now Great Britain is declaring war on Ireland. Okay, things are actually happening then! If you could just go ahead and annex and take everything, I'd appreciate it. Ireland is gone? Okay, and that did nothing for world tension. Alright, that's, that's lovely. Danzig for guarantees. Will they take it? They accepted it. Okay. That is at least nice. All right. That still feels weird, the fact that they're kind of, you know, communist. The communists are still part of the anti-Soviet pact. <laughs> still, though, this is, um... We, we at least actually have the old German Empire back now. I guess here at least we can get army innovations. I don't... I don't know what to do now. And now the French Commune has declared on France. Wait a minute, that means if the French Commune is actually going to happen and they win, that means I'll be able to go after the French. France's ruling party is communist. I really want to be able to get that. French Commune, okay. French did it. That means we can switch off here. And that means we can go ahead and go after the French. Italy joined the Kingdom of Hungary. Polish People's Republic joined the Comintern. Wait, so why would you do that? You had an anti-communist agreement with me, Poland. I don't think I like that very much. And now the Mexican Soviet Republic has joined the Comintern. Wait, oh no. But the Portuguese, the Portuguese are taking out Spain. All right, moment of truth. Carte blanche for Alsace and the French colonies. Wait, can I go ahead and create a faction with them? Oh, now I can actually lead the faction against Britain. We're the Monarch boys. All right. Hello, communists. Let's go for it, buddy. And now that we're at war, we can go ahead and bypass things through the south by going after Switzerland. <laughs> Reverse Maginot, baby. Here we go. Germany is at war once again. Let's go. French? Wait, they've joined the common turn. Uh, uh, well, okay. Yeah, sure. Britain can join. Why not? Yeah, they're, they're, they're calling the USSR, which means that, wait a minute, hold, hold up. That means the USSR is going to join. They're in a faction, but they have not joined yet. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's a little nerve-wracking. 
Goddamn, Portugal took all of Spain. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yep, and now the polls have been called against me. That's, that's lovely. Okay, well, this should be interesting. Oh, wow. Are they able to actually just get through the Maginot here? I don't think they actually have the defenses to, to hold. Oh, God, the Soviets are building up all along the side here then. Okay, well, we're going to need to try and hold over on this side. Guatemala has accepted the offer to join our faction. Wait, when did when did I offer them a place in the faction? I don't really think this has worked out the way that I wanted it to. Wait a minute, we are through the Maginot. Just like that? I don't think that I had to do that. Okay. Uh, we, boys, boys, we're through. I mean, I guess we didn't end up having to actually bypass the Maginot down here, which is interesting. I can definitively say that I did not expect that to happen, but okay. We don't even have to go after the Swiss just yet. Oh god, everyone is being called in against us now. We're through the Maginot, boys. It couldn't hold us. And our line on this Polish side is basically unstoppable. We're just gonna let them stack themselves against us. Well, there's really no way for them to hold us now at this point, so, I mean, I, I, I might as well just go for it. Are the Soviets genuinely trying to send troops in to flood France? That's not gonna work. Though, admittedly, they really are trying to defend things up here, up top. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's not the best. Well, if they can just hold out on this side for as long as possible, then we can get these troops in. God, I'm almost out of fuel. <laughs> Please. And I think the French are about to fall here. And there they go. Goodbye, little French commies. Oh, that's going to leave behind a ton of Soviet troops that are just here. And that means a bunch of them are now wiped. Wait a minute, Portugal's not war with Greater Portugal. Okay, then. But now we can just let them mass along the enemy side over here, and I think that will be just fine. I think it's time that we go ahead and start making a push. The Kingdom of Greece has joined the Czech Entente. Oh, God. I think Italy is about to either have a really good time or a really bad time now. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna go across here. We're gonna make a beeline through and cut off everything. Oh, hello, Polish massive pocket. Oh, I think that that's a lot of units over there, buddy. Wait, I lo I've lost troops against the Japanese Shogunate. When did the Japanese Shogunate... When the fuck did you join the common turn? Well, that still means that all these troops are about to have a very, very, very bad time. Oh, look, they're throwing their hats in celebration. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, I think that was around 400,000 troops for the Soviets right there. Okay, we'll just go and focus on closing this gap then. And like that, here's a huge goddamn pocket again. Oh, Lord. Oh, and now I think Finland is going to go to war with the Soviets, which in turn means that that's just going to divide their line further. I genuinely do wonder how many divisions at this point that have been wiped. That is, uh, that, yeah, that's pre that was pretty hefty. I mean, and when you look at the two sides of a total losses of 362,000 versus 2.5 million, I'd say they were probably doing a pretty good job. And I think we're in a pretty good position that at this point we just probably go ahead and push. Oh, shoot. Okay, the Soviets have now absorbed the North. I did not realize that was a thing, but hey, they did it. And well, that wipes out the Poles, which in turn means that their line is now significantly more wrapped. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. That means they have no troops. There's no troops. Uh, yeah, at this point, I think it's a steamroll. We just wiped out almost the entirety of their army, which was all gathered here on the front line. That means now that at this point, we should be able to just simply set a front line and let's go. They will literally have no defenses ready whatsoever, so we're just gonna start charging. And the more units that we can just wrap around and quickly take out a commission, the better. Are the- are they just- the Japanese are just sending little bits of men in here to try and filter them out. Yeah, there is quite literally no stopping us. They have no men on the front line. We're just piecing them out. <laughs> we're just taking them out little piece by piece. No, oh, I think they're finally starting to get a couple troops on the front lines. Not that it's exactly going to help them very much here in the first place, but I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. Honestly, this 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 just isn't fair. It, it's literally just a slaughter. Like, we may have lost 400,000 men, but we have taken out three and a half million. Asked to join faction member from China. You know what, China? You're doing fine. Monarch Boys welcomes you. <laughs> Romania rejects Soviet demands. I, I mean, yeah, I, I would think so. Also, what was going on over here? Italy, you are still fighting the Yugoslavians. What the f- Oh, finally, the Soviet Union falls. <laughs> okay. There we go. Which is going to- Well, it, it's going to give us a lot of trouble over here with these little bits that are, are caught because for whatever goddamn reason. I'm going to have to fight in Siberia, aren't I? 
Also, I still haven't gotten the events to formalize the alliance, because I think the allies got... Yeah. God, they're literally just crawling over the mountains. <laughs> trying to eliminate all of these guys. Oh, this is so stupid. Oh, the attrition here is absolutely awful. Now the Netherlands has joined the Commonwealth of Nations. I have a feeling that this is... This is not what I wanted to do from the beginning. Italy... You're still fighting down here? What? There we go. Okay, time to take out the Japanese. Let's go, boys. Take out Japan. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing anymore. All right, just got to snake our way down here. Take out Nagasaki. And the Japanese are gone. Okay. Is there anyone left? There shouldn't be anyone left. Everyone else is capitulated. The Mexican Soviet Republic counts as a major. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Great Britain owns Jamaica. Okay. God damn, I couldn't reach anything here from naval invasion, so at least I have that. Great Britain, who are you at war with? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Great Britain, you you declared war on the United States. Why? Italy has declared war on Great Britain. Wait. What? What? No hold up. Hold the goddamn What? Son of a bitch. I I don't even know what to make sense of this world. You got imperialist Canada fighting Canada. The United States is at war with Britain, which is currently invading Italy. Screw it. We're just we're just going for it. We're we're just going for it. We need we need to finish these guys off. Okay, well, Brits, I I guess the Germans are coming to save you from the Italians, which is a really weird thing to say. God damn, finally peace. That's looking cleaner, I guess. Oh wait. When the hell was the United States trying to invade? Oh my god, I'm at war with the United States, aren't I? Please, no. My navy is very, very badly damaged. Oh god. Now it's time to desperately send all of our forces across here and try and finish this goddamn war. I swear, if after all of this, if I'm not able to actually get the HRE, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. And now we're coming a little bit south of the border then. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all those then. There's that absolute goddamn monstrosity. Oh, God. Russia is now our puppet, and uh, Japan is now also our puppet. Yeah, okay. So there's that. So now I just need the Americans to fall, please. It's literally just sitting here waiting for everything to get destroyed. God damn, there we go. That's over. And there's the new German Empire. With everything having been taken. We are... We're no longer in a state of war. And so my question, at this point, after everything is done, is can I please, please form the Holy Roman Empire? Restoration of British titles. Okay. British government accepts the request. Awesome. Now that the war is over, <laughs> we can send a liaison ahead of time. Oh no. In the process of sending our liaison ahead to the British, the Hindenburg exploded. What a sad effect. Oh well, at least we have the Kaiserin, Victoria. And now that we have Victoria, that gives us the ability to form the HRE. Of which we are merely missing... Luxembourg, Sudetenland, Bohemia, Istria, and the Belgian states. Okay, so let's prepare this, please. Istria, it'll take 160 days for it. Okay. Oh, we gotta justify now. Uh, okay, you know, King George the Sixth dies, which means, wait a minute, we can now have another woman on the throne. <laughs> we got Elizabeth II, and we got Kaiserin w Victoria. <laughs> yes, feminism! <laughs> Well, Yugoslavia, I can't say that it was nice knowing you, but hey, here we go. And Czechoslovakia has joined Yugoslavia. Fantastic. That means that we will be able to wipe them all out here. Wait a minute. They're estimating that they're superior to us? Really? Because of all the fortifications, I guess. Okay, well, that's just lovely. Looks like we gotta wrap things up in the south. Oh, well, let's call in all the puppets then. And they consider it a disadvantage, but let's go ahead and go and see what we can do here. So if we can break through on any of these, even though we're at a disadvantage and we will take some serious losses, we will start to break through. And everything is now getting swarmed. Yeah, we're, we're taking some serious losses down there, but it's fine. 
because Hungary is gone. That's going to make a lot of their troops disappear, which is going to weaken their lines. And now we can beeline our way up here to Prague. Yeah, we're going to take a lot of losses there, but it's fine. And there's Czechoslovakia. All of it is gone. Better make sure that we take everything that we actually need to take here from the beginning before uh, we lose anything to Britain. You know, the Balkans are looking exceptionally clean now. Well, Luxembourg, I'm sorry, buddy. At this point, it's honestly like putting down old Yeller. I don't know why Panama is in here, but sure. No, I guess the uh, the Brits took out Panama then. Okay. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and take it for ourselves then. And Belgium, it's finally time for you to go. After this significantly longer game that should not have taken as long as it actually did, now things finally are coming to an end. Everyone, I give you not the German Empire, but the Holy Roman Empire. Goddamn finally. We only managed to do it after we already conquered the entire world anyway. Because, uh, yeah, Monarch Boys, essentially Sea to Shining Sea, just everything across the north is ours. Anyway, this has been Stuck v. Thank you very much to everyone who has watched. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please let me know down in the comments below what it is that we should do next. And remember to go ahead and join our Discord because we play Hearts of Iron 4 games every single Saturday. We also play Stellaris on Fridays and Europe Universalis on Mondays. I do hope you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. This took way too much goddamn time. Bye, guys. Thank you.